Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Garfield Legend. We're going to make another a new video. Uh, it's about soft modding or hacking your Wii. And uh, I think a lot of people take their Wii for granted because there's a lot of things it can do. All right, the only thing you really need for this is an SD card. Okay, here I have my SD card loaded up. You're gonna make sure it's formatted correctly. So you just go to format. And this is what you want. You want FAT32 with 32 kilobytes allocation. Okay. Uh, right now I'm running Windows 7, so if yours can't, there are programs you can get to do that for you. But uh, if you're running 70, I'm not sure about 10, I haven't worked with 10 yet. But if you're any anything Windows 8 and below, you should be able to format to FAT32. Okay, so this is our SD card, and I'm going to show you right now what we're going to put on it. You're going to go into your Wii, and you're going to get a certain uh, the MAC address. Okay, so now I'm going to cut away, and I'm going to go to the MAC address. I'm going to show you how to get that. okay this is how we're gonna get our mac address let me fix this a little bit right there yeah, that's good enough okay so you're gonna boot up your wii you're gonna go here to wii options right here to settings ah look that's me And then you're gonna go to console. No, that's wrong. Uh, internet. Console information, right here. This is your MAC address. Okay, you need to write this number down and uh, save it for the next part of the video. Okay guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to this website here. You're going to look for HackMe in Google right here. And you're going to find Letterbomb. Now, uh, what's very important is that if you're in the United States, uh, you're going to want this one, 4.3U. If you're in the UK, Europe, you're going to want this one, 4.3E. Japan, 4.3J and Korea 4.3k okay that doesn't mean like you're in you know Korea or whatever wherever your Wii was made and I'll show you how to figure out where to find that number I'll show you where it's at okay so we're gonna put in our MAC address here that we got earlier okay so our MAC address here is this and this some of these left right about there okay so I'm my Wii is from the United States so I got 4.3 U okay so we put in our Mac address there you want to bundle hack me installer you definitely want that and then you got to go through this little captcha verification okay so cars car car I've got a car, and that one's got a car, and there we go. Street signs. Okay. Street sign. Goodness. All right. So it doesn't matter which wire you cut. So there you got your letter bomb there and it's going to appear in your downloads. I got my downloads here. There's my letter bomb. I'm going to cut it. We're going to put it on the root of our SD card here. I'm going to extract it all.
Okay, so now it's extracted. You want to select all of it, cut it, and you want to put it on the root of your SD card. Here's the root of your SD card. So bam, you want it there. Now you don't need these other two folders. Whatever was inside the letter bomb, that's all you need. Okay, so now we're going to inject this. We're going to put it in our way. And I'll show you how to find what, whatever your console information number, 4.3, whatever. Okay, so we're back now. So to get your console information, you go to Wii Options and Wii Settings. Right here, here's your version. Mine's 4.3U. Okay, so now once you did all that letter bomb stuff, you're gonna go here to your message board. You're gonna go back one day. Now here's our letter bomb. So you're just gonna click on it and let it do its thing. That's what you wanna see. Okay. Yeah, all this is a uh, freeware. Okay. It's pretty simple and uh, I'll show you a lot of extra tricks. These are definitely worth it. They're very uh, powerful, not powerful consoles, but they're very capable consoles. And a lot of people like uh, retro games and this one they'll play a ton of them. Yeah, this does take a minute. Here we go. All right, now this is the next part. Okay, this is all the stuff it, it can install. All right, it'll tell you uh, Boot Me can only be installed as an iOS. Not everybody's can be installed directly. So it's okay if it's in, as an iOS. The first thing is you wanna select the homebrew channel. Say yes. Okay, thank you. Now you want to go to Boot Me. Okay, then you want to install Boot Me as an iOS. This is just like a safety, it's not 100% necessary. Okay, so that's it. Now you'll know it works if uh, the homebrew channel, this is the homebrew channel right here, okay? This is your gateway into all the cool little things that we can do. And I'm going to show you some examples in a minute. So I'm going to exit to the system menu so you know how to get to this channel. Right here, you see this? That's the channel we just installed. Okay, so now I'm going to stop and I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back and I'm going to load up the SD card with some files I already have just to show you the capabilities of your Wii.